right, what is up, guys? Um, so right here, I bought a paddle track for my ZR. It is used, and it's not in the best shape. Actually, it's not in that great a shape, but I got it for pretty cheap. So it's better than what I've got on it right now. So um, it's a one and three quarter inch paddle. Uh, hopefully, it'll work pretty well. Um, most of the outside lugs are gone, but the inside ones are good, so, yeah, I got it really cheap, like I said, and basically, I'm just sort of experimenting with, uh, porting it, because I've never ported the track before, and I'd like to see how it works, and, uh, see what I can think about it, so, um, for porting a track, you basically drill holes in all of the, uh, might be easier if I tilt it on its side. So what you do is you uh, you drill holes in the inside of the track like this, and it uh, what it does is it lets out the snow from uh, from the skid basically, and it helps cool everything and get better lubrication. So in theory, and it uh, so. It makes the track lighter and everything. So in theory, it's a good idea, I guess. But I just want to see how it works. Like, see if it causes the track to break or something. And what better to do it with than a used track? So, yeah. Um, basically, porting a track is pretty easy. You get a hole saw to whatever size you want. You get whatever pattern you want. And then basically, you just uh, go to town, make sure the hole saw is in reverse. So you're melting holes rather than uh, rather than actually cutting holes. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time. Um, I'm curious to see how it works. And yeah, uh, got some stuff for the ZR. I'm going to modify it a little bit for this winter. And uh, we'll see you later. So to start uh, porting your track like this one, um, what you want to do is you want to get your uh, hole saw and your drill uh, whatever drill it doesn't really matter preferably something with a little bit higher rpm so more of a powerful drill too then you uh... you want to get something underneath the track to keep it uh, above the ground and then basically you're going to take your drill in the in forwards and what you're going to do is you're going to uh... you're going to start the hole right where you want it with the actual drill bit so probably about in the middle somewhere uh, between each row and then once you get that first hole through then you uh, flip it to reverse and just let the hole saw go away melting the track alright so right there we're through with the uh, drill bit, so now we're going to take the drill and put it to reverse and begin the melting process. It's important that you melt this or else your track will fray and uh, basically disintegrate over time. So, yeah, it's a good idea to do this in reverse and melt holes rather than cut holes.
should have a little circle of rubber that you've melted and a new hole. So yeah, that's how you port your track and you just keep going. You can do whatever pattern you want and as many holes as you want. Um, I'm going to stick with two to try to keep this track in as strong a shape as I can. Uh, yeah, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Uh, thanks for watching.